Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the e-commerce add-on and the digital downloads add-on for e-commerce to build a quick little site where you can not only sell products but also accept donations of any amount and sell digital downloads, a file that someone can buy. So let's quickly set up a demo site. I'm just doing it here on our trials uh, just to make it a little easier for myself. And I should be able to jump right over here. Yep, and here we have a default Concrete 5 site with the sample content. So if I log in as an admin, oops, I get the editing toolbar across the top of the site. And first thing I'm going to do is connect my site to the community so I can easily add some functionality. You can see right here from the add functionality pane in the dashboard that we haven't connected to the community yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click connect to community and that's going to bring up concrete5.org inside of this window. Now if you haven't already made an account on concrete5.org you'll need a separate account for that. That's not the same account we just made to build this demo site. That is an account you have on concrete5.org. I already have one so I'm going to log in with my existing account. and it tells me success. So now if I click here on view my project page it'll take me over to concrete5.org and I'm looking at a private page made on the community that lets me keep track of everything that's installed on my site, uh, makes it easy to get support, I can add different users to my management team so different people can grant licenses to my project. Uh, I can do all sorts of cool stuff here. But let's scroll down. Uh, I could go shopping and add a bunch of add-ons or themes through here just by wandering through the marketplace, uh, but I've already granted myself licenses, so I'm just going to install digital downloads. And I'm going to add a license for e commerce. So now when I come back to the add functionality page on my site, if I reload that page, I'll see there's some stuff available for download. So I'll just click download and this will actually pull the files from concrete5.org down to my site and then click install and it will automatically install the add-on. Since digital downloads is an extension for e-commerce, I install e-commerce first. Now I'm going to install digital downloads. Okay, so now if I go back to my website be able to see it's added a few pages. We've got this catalog page where we've got all of our sample products set up in a nice little catalog structure. And if you haven't watched the screencasts on e-commerce, there's a whole bunch of them in the e-commerce add-on area. Uh, you should check those out. They'll, they'll cover more of the basics. Um, but we also have this standalone Love of Duck page where we've put together uh, a little bit of an explanation, a couple of products we want to feature, the ability to search. Uh, really kind of um, touted some of the design-centric, flexible features to our e-commerce approach. So let's go back to the dashboard and add some products. I click on e-commerce down here, and that brings me into the e-commerce section. This is where I can add products, look at orders, set up discounts, all the stuff you would expect. Um, go down here and add a new product. And let's set up a fund so people can donate to the ducks. And we go to short description. These ducks are hungry. And let's set a few options here. First off, we have to enable the product. And it's donation, so it really doesn't matter how many are in stock, it's unlimited. So this is not actually a duck, this is an attribute we added for something else. So we'll turn that off. And let's go ahead and just create this product. We don't need to make a standalone page for accepting donations. This is just a product block we're going to add somewhere else, so we're going to skip page creation. And now we've added the product, we can do some more stuff. Uh, we could go ahead and add a bunch of images if we wanted to, uh, but what we're going to do actually is set up a customer choice. 
Now these custom attributes look a lot like custom attributes from other parts of Concrete 5, and you can define your own if you're a developer. Uh, but we've got a couple in here that let you affect the product price. So you could set up a checkbox, which could be an additional feature, uh, like I would like my duck gift wrapped for an extra $10. Uh, or you could add a select box where people could choose uh, what size of duck they would like, small, medium, or large, and large might cost more. But we're just trying to do a variable donation, so we're going to use the text type and add that. We'll give it a handle. This has to be uh, a string with no spaces in it. And a name can be a little bit longer and include spaces. This is required when adding it to the cart. And let's give it a default. Let's, let's try to get people thinking in the right uh, scale here. 25 bucks is reasonable. OK, so we've added the product. We've made a customer choice. And now if I return to the website, let's stick it on a page somewhere. In fact, let's put it right here on the home page. We really want to push donations. Come into the sidebar here. Click Add Block. And if I scroll down to the end of my block list, we'll see here's product block. And I get a whole bunch of options. And again, there are other screencasts that explain all this stuff in detail. You should definitely check them out. So we're just going to select a specific product, the Donate to Ducks product that we added. And we're going to show the name and the description in the page. We also want to make sure that we include the Add to Cart button, since there is no product page to link to. We're going to change the Add to Cart text to something that makes more sense. Donate. OK. So we've added the product block to the page. Let's publish our edits. All right. Now when I scroll down, I see the product name, the description that we added. I can enter the amount to give. It's already defaulting to $25 like we asked, but we're doing very well. Let's give $25,000. There we are. We added $25,000 to our shopping cart for the ducks. Let's go ahead and close that. The other thing I wanted to show you today is how to add a downloadable file. Let's say that you've got a movie of some ducky action that you want to sell. We're going to go ahead and add a product. Ducky action. Ducks doing what they do. And remember, you got to enable it. And we'll give it a price. Sell that one for 15 bucks. And it's not a physical good. And there's an unlimited quantity in stock since you're just selling a file. It's not actually a duck. But you can see, since we added the digital downloads add-on, we've got this file to download option. So I'm just going to choose a file. And you could just sell an image if you wanted to. We'll just pick a file. and. Um, find something small so we don't have to wait for me to upload it. Here, I got this favicon. So you can upload your file. You can pick any type of file you want. It could be a zip file if you're selling software or whatever. And we'll choose it. Now I'll hit Create Product. And again, I don't really need to make a detailed page for this one. I'm just going to feature it throughout the site where I want it. And when I come back, let's put this home page in edit mode. And I'll add another product to the sidebar. We pick the product block. And I'll click Ducky Action. Choose its name and description here. And we want to make sure that we actually let people add it to the cart. And I don't think we really need to change the cart button for this one. It makes sense to say add to cart. There we go. All right, so I've approved my edits. And now let's add Ducky Action to the cart. There we go, 15 bucks. So $25,015. Let's go ahead and check out. And we have to put in all of our billing information. Happily. We are just using the default everything is approved gateway where I'm not going to have to put in a credit card. And 
go ahead and hit next to check out. There we go. I've given 25,000 to Docs. I've bought a digital file. Here you can see a link to the file. I can download that. It comes down to my computer. Uh, it's tracked. We can set up that link to expire so someone else can't grab it from the same URL. Um, it's just that easy. Thank you.